pale you step out of the night in red lace, full of flowers upon your crown. You bring the beauty to death, the equality and joy of the underground. The iconic lady of death with a pale skull-like face, zombie eyes and rich red funeral flowers in her hair has become one of the most recognizable symbols of Halloween and the Mexican Day of the Dead, El Dia de los Muertos. The original model for this flamboyant lady of death can be traced back to the ancient Aztec goddess Michacuatle. <laughs> I can't pronounce these names. <laughs> As time went on, the figure remained balanced between beauty and horror and morphed into the Lady of the Dead and eventually into the more modern graphic figure of Katrina. It is also reported that the identity of the original Katrina was based on women who were very rich and had everything they wanted in this life. Yet death takes everyone equally. So it was a reminder that no matter how beautiful, rich, popular, or famous you were, in the end, death takes us all. The Mexican culture has a long-standing history of laughing at death and seeing it as just another aspect of life. In some ways, death is the last taboo in many Western cultures. We tend to hide away our dying and some of us may never even see the body of someone who has passed in our whole lives, but this was a much more common occurrence in this past. Acknowledging that death is a natural process that will enter everyone's life at some time, and that perhaps until then, we can choose to be life-affirming, takes away much of that fear. Take a light approach to a situation initially, and it may work out for the better. If you are holding on to something that does not serve you any longer, in particular material things, simplify and let it go.